Hello, my dear students. I welcome you to this session on Big Data Analytics. In today's session, we are going to discuss about installing PIG on Hadoop. For this, I have uh, listed out the steps uh, in this file, which you would be following to install PIG. So the first step is uh, downloading PIG. So let's go to the browser, PIG download. Now from this Apache site, can click on this and click on download, download a release, and then I can pick up this site from here. So we see we have uh, two versions of PIG available, two latest versions, uh, PIG 0.16 and PIG 0.17. So uh, both both the versions are more or less same. There's hardly any difference, you know, in both these releases. So I'll go with the, the PIG version 16, okay, as a stable version. And then I need to download this file, PIG-0.16.0.tar.gz. This is a zipped file okay so i'll save this file the file is being downloaded so just have a look at the steps that we require after downloading we need to unzip the file okay using the star command and this will create a folder with the name as pig 0.16.0.tar.gz point point okay and then uh, we must change to that uh, directory we must go into that directory and then we create the folder in which we'll be uh, keeping our pig installations so this slash usr slash local slash pig new folder okay and then we'll move all the files from this uh, pig hyphen 0.16.0 folder to this installation folder and then we will proceed further with the installation so let's go to our browser to uh, see the progress of the file which is again going to take some time so let, let it download because our process will start only when it is downloaded. So we can see the progress of the download. It's almost complete, our tar file. So let's open this uh, folder. Obviously, it will be the, the downloads folder here. So let's copy this folder into the home folder. Okay. So let's now continue with the remaining steps. Let's go to the, let's copy this. And uh, so this will unzip this and create a folder, pig-0.16.0. We now have a folder, you can see it here. This is the folder. Now we need to move the files from this folder to the folder in which we want to keep the installation. So we have chosen this folder as user local pig team. So I'll just write it here. And uh, I'll create this folder here. And then I'll move to the pig folder. So it contains all the files, okay. And I'll move these files, all these files from this folder here to this folder where I want to install pig. So for that, uh, I'll use this command. I'll move all the files from this folder to the... So now you can see here that this folder is empty. Okay, so let's carry on with the remaining uh, installation only now the bash rc file needs to be updated so i need to open this file and just write all these you know settings for the pig variables the pig home the path pig class path pig configuration directory i just need to copy all these things into my dot bash rc file okay so i'll open it i'll open the file here using the nano editor and i can just paste the pig uh, settings here in the end Then I'll save it. Then I must <clears throat> run this. I must update my bash rc file for that the command is source. If everything is all right, it will just uh, give us the prompt. Yeah. And uh, now just to check whether pig has been installed or not, uh, we will uh, start pig. For that, I'll simply write pig here. And if all goes well, we'll soon see a grunt shell indicating that pig has been installed properly.
So we can see the grunt shell here in front of us now. That means we are ready to work with pig. If you need to come out of grunt, okay, grunt shell, then you can just type exit. Or I think you can write quit. Yeah, okay. You can write quit. And again, you can uh, start the grunt shell by writing pig. So when you write, uh, you know, when we invoke pig without any parameters, then it opens your uh, pig environment in the map reduce mode. Okay. You can also uh, open it in the local mode also. Okay. So let me just show you the local mode. We use this command to start the grunt shell in the local mode. That means we don't need the distributed file system here. It would be open in the local mode. And if we invoke pig without any parameters, then uh, it would be in map reduce mode. I can also use the word map reduce here. So this will again open your pig in using the distributed file system. Now you can also exit here using control D, I suppose. Yeah, you can also exit from here using control V to come out of the grunt shell. So that's all for uh, today. Uh, I would request all of you to uh, install pig as soon as possible because uh, it would be of great help when we are working with uh, the pig queries, the analysis of data sets. So thank you very much for watching my channel. I am closing this video here now.